probably be best to stay away from them and then go right at them. Yeah. They're going to be right on the field edge. Whatever you think. single tree was is about where they were. So day one, we just kind of scout around, found some birds on some public stuff. There's one tom in there, and we set up the shredder decoy, and he he kind of went to the left of us, and then some others came out and joined them, and then they all went to the right, and then we're goofing around over there, and then we yeah, obviously we kept calling and stuff, and. Finally, they're on a sprint to us, and I wouldn't believe this if I wasn't there, but three helicopters, like military ones, with two double-blade uh, things going around, flew right over us at like 200 yards and just scared the crap out of the turkeys, and then they wouldn't come back. That was the first uh, thing I did with any turkeys out here. Then uh, we found some more birds on some public stuff, and... Uh, set up on one side of the field, called, 
we don't think they heard us or saw us, so we went close. Actually, we belly crawled like 200 yards, 300 yards, set up on that side. Still didn't think they could hear or see us. So then we got in this creek bottom and started sneaking towards them and uh, got to where we kind of had them marked as of where they were in the field, which was some old logs that were piled on the side of the field. And uh, Dalton stood up and he saw them. And the one time was at like 30 yards. So I crawled up there and I heard a hen cluck on my left and then I heard a gobble so I thought that Tom was on the left with her so I drew back that way and then out of the corner of my eye I heard well I heard some clucking and then I out of the corner of my eye saw some saw the toms they were on my right but they're pretty small ones like their beards were only I don't know five inches or something and they were kind of um they were, they were walking a little bit, nothing crazy, but they're only like 12 yards, and uh, I, I never shot. Their beards are pretty small, and I didn't really want to shoot, so that kind of sucked because of all the work we did to get there, but it was cool, and then this morning, we roosted a bird last night on some private, and we went in there and put a blind up, and there's two trees that birds were roosted in. The left, left tree was the males, Jake's and Tom, one Tom, and then on the right were a couple of hens in a different tree, I don't know, probably 150 yards apart, and we were like dead smack in the middle, and the Toms and the Jake's flew down into this field to the left of us, and there's just this little ridge between us, and at one point, I think they were probably 20 yards gobbling, and they just would not even look over the hill, I don't know what their deal was, but they never got to a point where they could see the decoys, so I... I uh, moved the moved the blind up closer to there, and I'm gonna let that sit tonight, and then try it in the morning. Unless I make something happen today, I'm just kind of scouting and uh, maybe make a move on something. Um, uh, the tag is either or bow or gun, but I'm uh, ideally try to do it with my bow because I'd like to get the grand slam with my bow at some point. And if I get the, get a reel, then I got three out of the four, so I just need the Osceola and. Uh, but if it gets too close to when I have to head home, I'm gonna probably just shoot one at the shotgun, so. But anyway, stay tuned and hopefully you'll be watching a turkey get whacked soon. Oh, he walked over here. Put right there, put right there, right there. Lots of blood. Dropping 
chunks too. Then he got up and flew that way, but hopefully he didn't go far. Well, we packed our stuff up, put it over there. We're gonna go look for him, so we swore he flew down there and Dalton was standing right over here. He was laying right there. And Dalton was right here. We chased him down to there and grabbed him and rang his neck. Here he is. Rage put a nice hole in him. Appreciate it. Sir. Well, scouted all day yesterday. Found uh, a batch of three gobblers and a solo gobbler and then several jakes and hens, but... Uh, the closest I came to having them on something I could hunt were the three and they're on one property north of where we can hunt so Never had anything to get on there and then uh, we went and checked the bird that uh, me and Dylan had set up yesterday morning on and uh, He roosted there again and we had moved the blind yesterday morning after the hunt and went in there this morning and Flew out of the tree, landed probably 40 yards from the decoys, came in, started beating them up, and then a Jake started putting, and uh, he stepped clear of the decoy finally, and I shot it, and I broke broke one of his legs, and he went out about, oh, 80 yards, 90 yards, and uh, laid down for a while, and then me and Dalton were just sitting there talking, and all of a sudden he flew, and it looked like he flew, like, down the hill a ways, so... Because I swear I saw him go on the right side of this little tree, which is a straight valley down below. So we gave it a little time, walked up there, found the arrows, blood trail, pretty much all the way to him. There's like big chunks and stuff all the way up to where he was. And then I'm like, Dalton's like, you want to go look for him now and try to shoot him again? Or give him some time and come back and find him? I was like, well, let's clean everything up and then go look for him. So we cleaned everything up, put it in a pile halfway to the truck, came and looked for him and found this blood pretty close to this little tree where we had marked where he had gone down over the hill flying and I saw his wings sitting there and he was like three feet from Dalton and then he kind of ran through the fence and we could tell he wasn't getting anywhere far and he couldn't fly so I started chasing him and then he hopped back into the the fence bro with a little bit of brush there and went back towards Dalton's side because I was on the other side at this point and Dalton kind of got him into a little you that he couldn't get out of and grabbed him by the head rang his neck and then uh that was that so got a rio with my bow got a miriam with my bow and got easterns with my bow so now i just need the uh osceola for the grand slam with my bow so that's pretty cool and thanks to dalton and dylan as well for sitting with me yesterday morning and dalton for putting me on the bird today and Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.